Today, we're gonna to have a chance to talk about a possible breakthrough as far as treating one of the most deadly forms of cancer, pancreatic cancer. So our nine health expert, Dr. Paul Coley is with us today. Let's start with what pancreatic cancer is and, and why it is in fact so deadly. So the pancreas, Tom, is an organ that sits right about here in our body. It makes insulin, it helps us digest our fat. And the problem with pancreatic cancer is often, by the time you present with symptoms, the cancer is already advanced and it may have already spread. And so the symptoms that you might present with, such as abdominal pain, jaundice, weight loss, those are really symptoms that show that it's obstructing something and causing a problem. And by then, it is likely probably too far in many cases. But then there's this story of a 71-year-old woman from Ormond Beach, Florida, who in a way self-advocated and, and may have had a bit of a breakthrough. Yeah, it's really incredible. I mean, this is the fourth leading cause of, of cancer-related death. And this woman helped us to think about a new way to really treat it. So essentially what she did is she looked at evidence from an old study that had shown that we can use our body's immune system to attack the cancer because our immune system is so good at fighting invaders like viruses and bacteria. So essentially what you do is you take out the T cells from mm -hmm. the person, you genetically engineer them to identify the cancer cells because these cancer cells have a specific signature on their surface and then you put them back in the person let them do their thing and in this particular patient they actually shrunk the cancer 62 to 72 percent at six months and they were still swimming around which means that they were still lingering and still fighting the cancer. And they don't normally do this this is you would think that's you'd want your immune system to be able to fight the cancer but it doesn't effectively normally? Yeah the cancer is smart you know it's got all these mutations that try to evade the immune system in fact some solid cancers, which we've had trouble using our immune system to fight, actually secrete chemicals that create what's called a protected immune environment around it. So your immune cells can't even get in there. So really genetically engineering them, having them really hone in on the cancer cell seems to be a promising therapy. And it's not then just about pancreatic cancer. This becomes a way that we can treat other cancers as well? Exactly. We've been using it now in leukemias and liquid cancers for some time, and that's called the CAR T cells. Again, your T cells fighting the cancer. And those are, you know, as you can imagine, swimming all over your body, so harder to target. But with the solid cancers, the challenge has really been that every cancer has a different signature. Mm -hmm. And even within the same patient, it starts to beg the question of whether the cancer will start to outsmart our immune cells and our T cells down the line. So this becomes hopefully a big jump forward. Any concerns about what we've learned so far that may say, wait a minute, we're not there yet? You know, thankfully in this particular patient and with the ones we've done so far, when you infuse back the T cells, you can have a little bit of an immune reaction, but they were able to take care of that with medication. To me, the questions remain, Tom, what is the longevity of this? In other words, how long will this type of treatment response continue to last? And then also the cost and applicability, because you can imagine you have to personalize the therapy for every single patient. But I think it's such a great step in the right yeah. direction. Medicine is moving to be personalized, so we really get care for our individual body. Well, it's good news uh, to hear uh, uh, some progress is being made. Hopefully more to come as well. Dr. Paul Coley, thanks as always.